Hey, it's Rob. Welcome to Axel's Garage. We have another Optimum Online or Optimum by Altice or Cablevision video for you. If you've been keeping along with what we've been doing, we canceled. We canceled cable, went to Verizon, canceled Verizon, went to cable or Optimum. They, they, they change their name all the time. Anyway, for about two and a half years or so, we had Optimum. And as the price went up over the two and a half years, the quality of service went down uh, worse than it normally is, which is hard to believe that ever happens. And the main complaint with Optimum is sometimes it's fast and then sometimes it's slow. And it seems to go along in my um, unscientific uh, polling or surveying or investigating, whatever you want to call it, it seems that when uh, the kids are getting ready to go back to school, like on a Sunday night um, after a weekend, or uh, on a Sunday night after uh, a long break when they have schoolwork to do, the more people that are online in your area, the slower the service is. That's number one. That I can get by. Um, not the biggest concern, and I think it's got something to do with the way the system is wired, how it's shared uh, bandwidth in, in your neighborhood. But that's not the biggest complaint. The biggest complaint is I'd have to tell the kids to do the plugs, and that's what we call it in our house. Do the plugs, do the plugs, do the plugs. And if they're not home, I have to do the plugs. And what that means is go down to where all our low voltage uh, stuff comes in, all our TV, phone, internet stuff comes into the house. We have a low voltage panel, and they have to unplug the cable vision router modem combo thing, or if it's two separate pieces. Depending on what era you have, you might have two items, you might have one item, but they do the plugs. They know it's the last two things that are plugged in, or whatever it is. They, they go down and they unplug them, leave them unplugged for about 30 seconds, plug them back in, and five minutes later we have reliable or uh, fast enough internet. And then if the internet completely goes out or if it gets real slow again, it's do the plugs. Sometimes it happens when you're streaming a movie, sometimes it happens when you're downloading or uploading something, and my wife will yell do the plugs, I'll yell do the plugs, or we'll go down and do the plugs. Sometimes especially if you're in like one of the bedrooms on the second floor of the house and you, they're doing schoolwork or something like that and they got to do the plugs, they got to go downstairs, then downstairs again, do the plugs, go back upstairs, hopefully it worked, because sometimes you got to do it two or three times. I got fed up. Verizon sent me a, a flyer in the mail and they had a promo deal that did not expire uh, for internet only, which is all I really wanted or needed or had from Cablevision or Optimum was internet only. So I said, you know what? It's been two and a half, almost three years, time to switch. So I called Verizon up and within a week, I had Verizon that the install uh, did not go without a couple of little issues for a different video and very happy with the service. So I called Optimum to cancel. And Optimum said, wait, don't cancel. We have faster internet. We have a better, better equipment. We'll give it to you for free for a couple of months. So, well, if you're gonna give it to me for free, I'm not under any contract with Verizon. I'll keep it. So they sent me the stuff and we get it hooked up and it was pretty good speed wise. Um, we did have to do the plugs a couple of times but not nearly as much as before. So when my free period ended I said what date do I need to cancel? I don't want a bill from you. If I don't want to keep it what date do I need to cancel by? And the lady said to me and I wrote it down, I wrote her name down and everything. She said January 6th she said. January 6th. I said, okay. So on January 6th, I called up and I got somebody else in customer retention. They said, no, no, no. You still have a credit on your account. You're good until February 7th. If you call by February 7th and cancel, you won't have a bill. So I went another month and I got to say the service wasn't nearly, nearly as bad. If there was no other choice, I could definitely tolerate uh, the service. It did get slow sometimes. Um, so the, the plugging and unplugging didn't help that slowness. And when it got slow, it was mostly coincidentally on my older devices, it would slow down. On the newer devices, it would, it would maintain a relatively good speed, um, but it just wasn't consistent like Verizon was. So I chose, you know what, I said I'm gonna stay with the Verizon because it's more consistent. And I called Optimum on February 7th and I spoke to a nice gentleman and I got his name hopefully somewhere here also and I said okay I want to cancel I want to make sure I confirm with you I have no bill you have no bill I said how do I return the equipment he said well you can return it to one of our Optimum stores which um, I have a retired father-in-law who does that stuff for me usually 
So I said, okay, he, uh, he goes, or if it's easier for you, you can go on our website and you can uh, download a, a shipping label or there's directions on how to ship it back. And I think it was like drop it off the UPS store with the shipping label or some, some crap like that. I said, oh, that's great. So I canceled beginning of February. Um, about two weeks went by and I still had the modem in a box with a... Uh, with my phone number written on it because my father-in-law said, oh no, I, I, need a, I need your account number, I need a copy of your bill to, to uh, return it because he's done this before. And I said, well, I, I don't have any bills. I go, I'm on paperless billing, they email me the bills. So I said, I gotta be able to pull the account number off the, the website. So I, I log into my account and I don't have access to anything because I canceled. It's still there, I can still log in, but I don't have access to all my billing info because I canceled. So now I can't get from the account number. Then I said, okay, well, I'll just do the, the shipping label. I can't find it anywhere. It's probably there somewhere, but can't find where it is to print the label or to ship your equipment back. So I'm back to uh, giving it to my phone number. I said, well, my phone number and my email is connected to my account. I'll write that down. I'll give you the box, and you try to return it. He goes, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do it next week because he had a doctor's appointment or whatever. I don't know. So, you know, a little procrastination, my father will not be able to do it right away, two weeks went by, and lo and behold, what do I get? I don't get an email, I get a freaking bill. I get an optimum bill in the mail, right? A bill in the mail for $92, which is double what it was gonna be if I kept it. And the bill came, you know, within within two weeks of me canceling. So they didn't even give me really time. Like, oh, you cancel the next day, you run to the place and return the equipment. So yeah, there's a little bit on me about I didn't return the equipment right away, but how fast do they expect you to return the equipment? They're only open during the day. Most people work during the day. It's, it's crazy. So we're gonna call Optimum again. We're gonna call customer service and we're gonna find out what the F is going on because this is just, it, it's, it's insane. How many videos? How many videos have we done about this this back ass shit company that is always, always, always putting the customer last? They never put the customer first. They're horrible. And anybody that's dealt with them knows how horrible they are. So we're gonna call. Welcome to Optimum. This call may be recorded for quality assurance and security purposes. Para Español, marque dos. I don't even want to start. Are you calling about the account associated with 9 weeks? Yes. Great, thanks. Your service has been disconnected. A payment of your total balance of $92.85 is required now. This may include any unreturned equipment charges. Please see the details of these charges on your last bill. I see that you have a saved credit card account profile with us. Would you like to use your credit card account to make a payment now? No. What would you like to do? You can say, here billing information, make a payment with a credit card, make a payment with a check, or repeat my options. Customer service. Customer service. Sorry, I still didn't get that. Please choose one of the following options. You can say, your billing information, or press 1. To make a payment with a credit card, press 2. To make a payment with a check, press 3. Or to repeat these options, press star. No. Customer service. speak to somebody this is great I'm canceled so I can't speak to somebody this is optimum online you said pay with a check right no you fucker I 
th this is why people hate this fucking company so much. I call up because they sent me a fucking bill that I don't owe, and I can't even speak to somebody because I no longer have service. It's pay or fuck you. Well, no, fuck you. I ain't paying. This is fucking bullshit. This is Optimum Online. Anybody who has this is still paying these motherfuckers. That's why. Here you go. That's that's the reason in the back of my head. I said, you know what? They sent me the new motor. I tried it for a couple months. It was free. I said, you know what? It's it's not unreasonable. The price was about thirty bucks less than Verizon. This these are the motherfuckers. And I thought about it. I actually thought about it for a second. I said, you know what? I go. It doesn't seem too bad. Thirty bucks a month less than Verizon. It does, I I could tolerate the plugs once a month. Maybe maybe we should think about you know staying with it. This new equipment is is definitely better than the old equipment. Not the greatest, but it works and it's cheaper. It's fifty bucks, forty nine ninety nine instead of paying eighty nine or seventy nine, whatever the freak I'm paying with Verizon. But you know what? Verizon works, and they don't do this shit. I call them up and I can't even talk to somebody, so I can't log on on the website to get the shipping information to return the stuff like they said because. I, they closed my account, so I can't get that information. I can't even get my account number on the thing. Then they sent me a bill for $92.85, and I call up to say the bill is wrong, and I can't talk to somebody. The only option I have is to pay the bill. Fuck you, Optimum. This is bullshit. This is why you, you can... Put your internet service down to 30 bucks a month and people are still gonna tell you to go screw yourself because of this bullshit. You can't even talk to somebody. It's pay the bill or fuck you. Well, you know what? Fuck you. I ain't fucking doing it. Optimal online bullshit. Sorry for fucking the rant and I'm raving. This is the typical optimum bullshit. And this is why nobody wants your fucking service anymore. Nobody wants your company. Nobody wants to hear your excuses. Nobody wants it for free. Go away. You suck. How any better business thing, whatever it is, people complaining all the time to everybody. Nobody does anything about this company. This company sucks ass. The worst. <coughs> now I'm awake. Thanks for watching.